Hello, good morning from Scotland. Hope you're very, very well today. We're doing a bit of a question and answer session today, so if you have any questions, leave it below and I'll answer as many questions as I can throughout the day today. Have a great day. Hello, Rajasthan, India. Good morning to you. How are you today? It's freezing here in Scotland. My hands are getting really blue with the cold. Hope you're well over there. Take care. So advice with a C is a noun. My advice is to stay indoors. Advise with an S is a verb. I advise you to stay indoors. So I have and I've got are exactly the same. But when we're speaking, it's better to say I've got. I've got glasses, I've got money, I've got a t-shirt, I've got. No, when we use wait, we wait for something. I will wait for you. I will wait for this. So wait for with a noun. Wait to do with a verb. Great question. If we are addressing a lady in a public place, always good to say miss, miss. Excuse me, miss. Can you do this for me? Excuse me, miss. Much better, miss, very polite. So the pronunciation for this is saline, saline, saline. The saline solution, yeah, saline. Saline, 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 saline. Actually, I love all the seasons. I love the summer for the long nights. I love the winter for the snow. I love the autumn for the changing of the colors. And I love the spring because things are getting warmer again. Hello Canada, you're up early today. Um, for vocabulary, I would say phrasal verbs, much more important than idioms for everyday language. So phrasal verbs. It depends what you want to say. The chair has been broken is correct. The chair has broken. The chair doesn't do any action. So that's not correct. So the chair has been broken is correct. So I've gone, we'll use the place. I've been gone, we'll use the time. I've gone to Spain and not come back. I've been gone for 10 years. So that's the difference. Yeah, she don't is not correct grammatically. It's not correct. She doesn't is correct. But a lot of people, especially down in the south of England might say she don't, but it's not correct grammatically. So literally, 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 just means exactly what I'm saying. It's literally minus 10 degrees and I'm freezing. Exactly what I'm saying.